Hey, this is Dave. We're here in the garage tonight. I just figured I'd give you a little uh, tour of my garage and what it's like here on a, uh, what, what night is it, Mike? Tuesday. A Tuesday night. We again have our keystone light. This is clearly not staged intro at all. There's no RDP hanging. I wonder who that could be. This is clearly not a staged intro at all with the RDP <laughs> hanging on the garage door and the badass truck that pulled into the garage. Obviously this is just uh, completely random on a Tuesday night. There's nothing better to do. Yeah. So, first things first, we always do our interviews over cocktails. Uh, Carl mentioned he smelled some kind of alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> what do you got over here, Dave? Oh, pirate rum. Imita fruit punch. Imitation, Imitation fruit. fruit punch. I'll let you blend up your own cocktail okay. there, Carl. Yeah, okay. see how he likes it. Step or, step or week. We'll see what we can do here. Get so, in Carl, the game. Tell, tell us a little bit about your truck while you're doing uh, the cocktail there. Well, it's a um, 53 Chevy, been converted to all new Chevy almost. And. About 13 months of work, tearing it down to the ground. Oh, let's try to see what rum and punch are like here. It's smooth. It's <laughs> real smooth. Oh. So you got 13 months into this. Now, a lot of people know uh, Carl. And uh, here, I'll stand over here so we don't keep looking right for it. But uh, a lot of people know Carl. And most people know him best as the guy that uh, organizes the entire Desert Storm Street Fair party. To make that uh, a long description short, to get a good booth, you uh, you grease that wheel, <laughs> which I uh, I know that one very well. <laughs> this is part of the greasing right here. <laughs> yes, this is part of the greasing. What the, a lot of people don't know is Carl actually builds hot rods. Uh, he builds all sorts of trucks. Uh, Lots of cool vehicles for other people. Carl, why don't you take the members through what you build here? Okay. Um, put my cocktail down for a second. What we did is uh, um, we took a, a, a stock 53 Chevy truck and completely gutted it down to the ground uh, to basically two bare frame rails. Uh, I used as much uh, membership, uh, RDP membership help as I could in, in the jobs that they do to farm stuff out to. And, uh, Slowly but surely, pieces came back and, and started putting it back together. So let's take a look under the hood. And for, and for everybody that, uh, that knows it, it's just a standard Chevy 350 stuffed in a, in a truck it shouldn't be in. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, it's got uh, full modern suspension and modern disc brakes. Air conditioning, everything we need, so uh, it, it makes for a, a real good uh, desert truck. And a daily driver. Actually, this was built for a. Uh, it's, it's going for a Sweet 16th birthday back in Kentucky. So hopefully, you uh, all you dads out there start saving your money because uh, now you got to keep up with this guy's daughter. Yeah, Joneses. Yeah. So now, part of the reason, well, not that it was completely random that the truck showed up because it was stage but <laughs> part of the reason the truck is here is Carl has recently finished this project and is now looking for a new project so if Absolutely. we have any RDP members that are looking for uh, a badass rig you can give him a call and he, uh, he likes to do that on the side uh, amongst his day job of drawing uh, plants for houses out here and everything else so Mike why don't you film the inside of the truck make sure you get the, uh, the, the truck bed here this is beautiful it's, uh, it's all wood. Inside, in, inside's been done with all modern 
modern electronics engaging. You get a look at the radio. It looks like a factory radio, but it is actually a, a monster stereo. It's a monster stereo. There's a couple 12, you know, 12 inch sub hiding back there and a couple six by nines. So some lucky sweet 16 is getting this for her, her first car. Yeah, it must be a princess. <laughs> Well, it was this or a Prius. Yeah, I'm 36 so, and I thought to have this as my ninth yeah. or tenth car, let alone the first, you know. You can get the white down around it. So, yeah, anyways, it's a, a, a complete redo, frame off. Um, the bed is brand new. Uh, couldn't salvage the old one. And the cab is, is salvaged and the fenders were salvaged. And that's about all that's been reused on, on the whole vehicle. Uh, it's just some sheet metal. Now, did you do everything in house? Yeah, well, we had uh, Ripper Dave here uh, uh, help me out and made some gauge bezels to make the gauges look nice. And uh, I used uh, redneck on the boards to do uh, to hydroblast the frame. And um, had Big Doug um, from Full Throttle Detail help with the polishing and the buffing of it. Uh, like I say, just kind of spread it out through RDP members as I could, uh, the local guys that are here. and. and uh, so, actually, with all that, it came through and, and looks pretty good. That's beautiful. Well, let's talk. Uh, let's talk a little about a little bit about some of Carl here. Obviously, not Camel Carl, not to be confused with the two, even though they're both giant dudes. <laughs> <laughs> so, Carl, where are you originally from? Uh, originally from Carlsbad, California. That's one thing we share in common. And now we both live in Lake Havasu. Would you go back? Uh, to, uh for the weekend. But that's about it. Yeah, no, traffic's too much, uh, uh, and I'm just kind of happy with the Havasu lifestyle. It reminds me of Carlsbad, you know, 30 years ago. What is uh, what is it you like about uh, RDP? We asked MJC that the last last week, and he did not have an answer. He said, "You know, I don't know. I just like it." So, what what, what is it you like about RDP? What I like um, is that it's the people can poke fun at each other and have fun, and and people don't take it too seriously and get too bent out of shape. And, and that's that's kind of the deal. We all know how to kind of get along. And as compared to the, uh, many of the other boat sites that, that I've been on to, there's always a bunch of piddling and, and squabbling. And RDP seems to kind of, you know, a dysfunctional family, but family none the same. And it, everybody seems to get along quite well. So that's what I like about it. All right, is there anything else you want to add before we sign off here? Nope, go RDP. You're going to be the number one site. And <laughs> here's to... Global media domination. <laughs> All right, we'll talk to you later. All right. Thanks for coming over.